Hello to Roria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today we are continuing on with our yo-yo only challenge series. Now in today's episode we're going to be focusing on the big bad plant era, that's right, we're taking her down in today's episode but we do need to make some preparations for that and so the preparations will go as followed. One, we need to farm for turtle shells to make turtle armor because that's going to help us out in the fight. And to do that, I'm probably going to need to kill a lot of turtles and I'm going to go need to mine some chlorophyte, which can take a little bit of time. So there are two things I've got to kind of scratch off the list today. Um, I'm also going to be crafting one accessory for this fight and that's going to be the Titan's Glove. And I think if memory serves me, we might actually have everything needed for it. Do we have a glove? We have a glove. Right, okay, we're good. We've got two gloves, in fact. It's like mittens. Right, okay. <laughs> Characters in Terraria only need one glove, it's not that cold. And then after that, we're gonna go for some potions, because obviously we're gonna need them. And I have to dig out a stadium for the fight, so kind of simple episode. Not too many yo-yo things happening. Um, in terms of yo-yos though, if we do manage to defeat Plantera and we're lucky in the dungeon afterwards, we may get a crack in this episode. And if we do get a crack, then that means we'll be going into next episode getting the Eye of Cthulhu. And then a few episodes after that, maybe two or three, probably the Terrarian, depending on how much I can cram into these episodes. So there are only five yo-yos left, but the spacings between these yo-yos are actually quite hard. For example, the Red Throw and the Valkyrie yo-yo is going to be really hard to get. So they're just ones that I have to keep in mind for a later episode um, when we can do some farming on that. So to begin today's episode, let's get crafting. So I only do, well, I do only have one turtle shell, so I only need the two. But in terms of accessories, I'm pretty much ready to make the accessory I wanted. So let's grab some souls. I think I've got some souls in here. Alright, fright. No, we don't need night. We need might and sight. Okay, awesome. And I actually have all of the uh, mechanical wagon pieces for the little uh, mechanical wagon. That's very cool. Alright, so let's go over to our little tinkering station. All right, so we do need to craft first off. A Avengers Emblem, which will give us 12% increased damage. We're going to pair this up with the Titan's Glove. Um, where are we pairing this up? We should be able to pair it up here, right? Or is this one that you actually mold into something else? One will grab the Mechanicals cart. Now, I can't remember how on earth you pair these two together. You know what? I'm going to have to check that. Alright, so I just remembered you actually need the Feral Claws and the Titan's Glove. And the funny thing with this is, right, there is a little story to this, and it's kind of funny that I actually forgot the recipe. So, um, the item we're about to craft is the Power Glove. Now, as you guys know, that is a reference to the Nintendo Power Glove, but it's actually a reference to my friend King Phonix. He actually came up with that idea, um, and we passed it on to Waffles at the time, who was doing artwork for Terraria. Then it got added to suggestions, and then it got made, and then they never redid the sprite for it. So, it's one of my, like, I think it's the most jankiest sprite in the game, and I think it should look like the NES Power Glove. But it's there, we're proud of it. That's a little thing between me and my friends, but yeah. That's why there's a, a Power Glove in Terraria, um, because of that little story. Right, so we have a cart now. We didn't actually even bother crafting with one. <laughs> crafting one. Um, and we have our little glove. Now, the thing is, we're going to have to reforge this glove. And I don't remember if we actually have that much money on us. I don't think we do. Is that one platinum? Yeah, it's one platinum. Right, so we need warding. So, fingers crossed, everyone. Hasty. Quick. Oh, hasty. The money's burning quick. All right, that's a lucky coin. Did I not get a discount card? No. Right. I left all the stuff in my inventory for when I defeated the pirate invasion in the last episode off camera. Uh, angry. Menacing. I'd have loved menacing if it was the old chippy. The old chippy loved menacing. Um, but the new chippy's all about defense. Right, so that is one thing crafted. So we're also going to craft a pickaxe because I'm going to need a pickaxe for the chlorophyte, I believe, because I didn't actually craft um, a adamantite one. So I'm going to have to go for a hallowed one. So let's grab some bars. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Right, okay. I should have my bars in here somewhere. There we go. Hallowed bars. Uh, so let's use these to actually make a pickaxe real quick. Okay, let's come down to here and uh, get crafting. Right, so do we grab a Drax or a pickaxe? Hmm, everybody loves axes more. But then you always get that one guy that's like, Hey, I think the other one's faster. No, we'll grab that. Alright, so that is actually done for what we need to, uh, to craft. I'm going to go now and I'm going to go farm and I'm going to go build out an arena. So I'll let you know how that goes and I'll probably do a little bit of jump cut and interlace it with some stuff to further progress the episode. 
Okay, so it's the dawn of a fresh solar eclipse. I've actually just managed to uh, ride out the night, essentially, with these guys, although I did die a few times. So uh, I have made some advancements to the character, some, uh, some I'm quite happy to do now. So when I left you in the last clip, I said that I'm going to go probably try and mine out an area for uh, our plant terrified, go mine some chlorophyte, and uh, go get some turtle shells. I've done all three of them, kind of. I still haven't fan uh, finished... Um, and still haven't finished the little stadium we're going to use yet, just because I, um, I was getting a little bit destroyed in the jungle. Because in the jungle, when you have all of these little moss hornets flying at you, stinging you, it's, it's quite easy to just get killed. Especially when you're building something that's so, like, open. Because obviously that just encourages enemies to come in and swarm you. So, we can now do a little bit of crafting. Which is really, really cool. So where do we craft this at? Here we are. Turtle. Helmet. Turtle scale mail, and uh, where are my turtle leggings at? Do I not have enough chlorophyte? Oh wow, did not anticipate that. Right, I'm going to have to go mine a little bit more chlorophyte, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got some more chlorophyte. I actually picked up a Uzi. Now, I don't know if I picked this up earlier or just now. I've only really just noticed it though. I thought that was kind of funny, because uh, it's like a desirable weapon uh, in the hands of a person that will never use it, because obviously we're in this playthrough. Right, so what do I have? I have my scale mail, my helmet, time to make the leggings. Right, let's see what our defense goes to. So it's currently 68. Swap these out. What are we at? 83? Nice. Nice. That's cool. Set bonus. Attackers more likely... Attackers also take full damage. Enemies are more likely to target you. Well, that's cool. So we got a lot more defense now which is nice because that's going to help us out in the future and it also means that i can start making my um my stadium a little bit easier um i also picked up a few accessories actually do you know what's really funny i found this kind of amusing i have a whole chest full of just weapons right and the irony of that is is i can't use any of these because they're all weapons and obviously my weapons are right here so uh, i do find that a little bit ironic right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take with me now um I'm going to take some, well for one, I want to sort this out real quick. I like to uh, know that I have every accessory that I need. So what I do is I uh, I keep accessories until I need to put them in the chest. And then I look in here and see if I have any doubles. And if I have some doubles, I usually remove them. For example, magma stone is doubled up. So I'll probably remove that and sell one. And then I keep a nice organized chest of accessories. Right, so I'm probably going to take with me some stuff for the stadium. Um, in the last... Thing in the last fight that we had, I used um, two heart statues. I have three, I believe. I'm pretty sure I have three heart statues. So I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to take uh, my honey um, creating kit. Uh, we'll take heart lanterns with us. And yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. This is all good stuff. So this is all going to be used in my little, uh, my little arena that we're going to face off against. In this arena, I'm basically just going to have one little healing stadium to the side. And then I'm just going to have to loop around Plantera. So is this going to be like a basic fight? I don't actually need... The healing is nice. But I don't actually need, um, you know, a full dedicated arena for this. Because the Plantera fight is kind of a lot about potions. And it's a lot about avoiding attacks. So, right. Okay, let's take a wrench. I don't have much wire left. I do have another timer. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have another heart statue, yeah. There we go. Right, cool. So I'm going to get working on this, and I'll let you know what we come up with. Okay, so a lot of the uh, fishing has been done. So I think we're almost ready to actually take on Plantera. So I have my stadium, I have my potions, and now I want to do a little bit more money wasting here and go for the reforge on the mechanical glove again. I want that warding. So fingers crossed, angry, spiked. Angry. You see, I've got so much money at the minute because when I was building my uh, stadium, I got lots and lots of mimics spawning because I had a nice long row at the bottom. So uh, there's just a good little tip for anybody. Hmm, we're just burning through the money here. Come on. Warding. Ah, uh, no. Seems like it's a bad day for uh, reforging. And we're blasting through free platinum here. Warding. There we go. Thank God. Right, that takes us up to 87. The thing is, every little bit of defense helps. All right, so let's, um, let's first off, let's just quick stack everything. Um, and let's get crafting some potions. So I do need to craft, I know this, a raft potion. 
I also need to craft, um, if I could do it from nearby chests, I think I have a, a prismite, so I need to actually craft using that. So let's open this up uh, into nature. Let's see, can I make something with prismite? Yeah, there we go. A life force potion. And now I'll show you all the potions that I've made so far. So we're going to be using flasks of cursed flames because they're good. Cooked fish, wrath potions, um, and then these are the ones I've crafted. So regen, iron skin, heart reach, swiftness, one bit of sake. So hopefully that'll be enough. Um, and then we're going to go for shine, endurance, titan, night owl, um, hunter. And then, let's see, we don't want danger sense. And then that should be it. That should be enough. So let's just go through that again to make sure that I've got all of them. Come here, I'll tell you what we can do. We can just do this. There we go. So I've got flask of cursed flames, regen, swiftness, iron skin, shine, night owl, hunter, sake, heart reach, titan, life force, endurance, wrath. Actually, there's one more I needed to make. Yeah, I just remembered. I have a hemo piranha in here. I went and got one. Um, so if we go onto nature, I should be able to craft us a rage potion, which is awesome. Now I want to make an inferno potion, but I don't actually have a hotline fishing rod, so that's kind of a disappointment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump cut ahead to the stadium, and uh, we'll have a good fight, hopefully. Okay, I believe it's time for round one of Plantera. So I've not done this fight in a little while. I'm hoping that I can still manage to muster up a good attempt at it. Um, it's one of these fights where it can be really good and you can keep a good rhythm or if you get caught on something you can kind of really mess it up for yourself. So what I'll do is I'll turn on auto pause because then if I feel like I need to swap out an accessory halfway through I can. So I'm just going to clear out the area. I'll just talk about all the things I've got. So got three heart statues set up. So I've got one here in the middle box, one here to the side and one down here. So my plan is to... Oh, you're right, Tom. <laughs> We saw him today, Tom. Ah, the gradient. We actually got that yo-yo. Yeah, of course we got the yo-yo. We got all of them. All right, okay. So you kind of uh, flip around like this, kind of descend, um, and then you use this to reset your wings. That's the plan, at least. That's the plan. Um, and other than that, not too much else is going on with this arena. Do you know what? I want to put up some lights here. I feel like lights are good. All right, so let's put some lights up for you guys. Um, and we're out of torches. All right. Kind of stalling because I'm just a little bit nervous. So, first off, first buff, a sharpening station, which gives us melee weapons have increased armor penetration. And let's begin. Right, where are you coming in from, Plantera? Right, okay, you're coming in from over there. Buff up. Right, hopefully I do this well. Like I say, it's been a little bit of time since I, uh, I've done this fight. And uh, hopefully we don't run out of potion time before it even gets here. <laughs> yeah, it's taking its time. Right, let's do our best to avoid it. Let's try and uh, duke it up and down. Duke it up and down? Duke it? I don't know. I feel like, uh, I feel like that's a very American phrase. Hmm. Right, okay. Now we're going to go uh, circling down and around. Circling down and around. So this first half is not actually that challenging, is it? Um, it's the second half where uh, it gets a little bit more chaotic. It gets enraged. Uh, Plantera gets faster. Um, yeah, it gets it gets bad. Thankfully, I've built this arena large enough. I often make the mistake in a in series, like all the time. Like I feel like I've done it a lot, where I uh, don't build the arena big enough on the first time. I was like, do you know what? Go for safe this time. Go for safe. Like, really, um, really, like, dig out an area. Because I just have, like, the most unluckiest fights with Plantera the first time. I usually end up like, oh, what's that? You've got this one wall sticking out and all the, the spike traps want to, uh, you know, bounce around and such. <laughs> yeah. I never, have a, I never have a good time. So, this is a little bit better. I didn't actually take my honey pool, which I've only just noticed now. That would have been nice. Alright, kind of got to stay snug to her. Alright, going to heal up now, just in case. Oh, I felt like I uh, jittered then. I don't know why I jittered. Too zoned in. Whoa! No, 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 no. See, look. Just messed myself up there. Completely messed myself up. Right, the fight is almost over. So let's uh, just keep circling round and around. You know what? I just realized I'm recording in 1080p. 
which means that this video is not going to be that great. Brilliant! <laughs> Right, I realise I'm recording in the wrong dimension, sorry about that, I'm going to have to switch Mac. Now I apologise because that does mean that that footage will not look as good as it should and it will be a little bit jittery and I'm really sorry for that guys. Um, yeah, sorry about that. That would explain why it was a little bit easier for me. Um, but yeah, oh god, I feel really bad about that man. Because uh, I didn't expect that to happen, so let's open up our treasure bag. Let's see what we get. We get a temple key, some armoured spore sack, yeah, and a ruthless flower pal. So we can go get another yo-yo now, or we can uh, be brave and go and take on Gollum. Should we, uh, should we try Gollum while we've got all our potions? Actually, do you know what? I feel like we're so far away from the entrance, it's probably a wasted fight. I don't know about that, actually. Maybe a wasted fight? Ooh, I always get cocky after a boss fight, and I'm like, yeah, let's go take on another boss. <laughs> but yeah, I apologize about that footage, guys, because 1080p recording in Terraria for some reason is just like really, really uh, jittery for me. Always has been. The thing is, I like I own a pretty expensive computer as well, but that always happens. Right, so it's onto the Kraken now. The Kraken is the next yo yo. We're getting it from the dungeon. It's a rear drop, so um, I don't know how bad that's going to be for us. So we're going to head there now. We're going to work on the Kraken. We're going to get a solar eclipse, work on the Eye of Cthulhu. And, uh, well, I think today we'll end with the Kraken. Who knows? Right, so let's teleport over there now, and uh, let's get going. By the way, when I say teleport, I do mean jump cut. I can't teleport. Although I wish I could teleport. That'd be a brilliant ability. Right, let's move over there. Okay, so we're in the dungeon now, so it should be a, uh, a hard mode dungeon. And like I say, we're looking for the Kraken. So, I'll do a few minutes of farming on screen, because it's nice to get some farming in on screen. I do a lot of jump cuts in this series. And then what we'll do is I'll uh, kind of grind out the rest of the time and uh, see what happens. Now, I did spend a bit of time in here looking for, I believe, the Nazar, which is a, an accessory that can drop, which can be used for a greater accessory. Um, and I never further commented on that. Um, I didn't have any luck getting it, unfortunately. I just had, like, the worst luck, because... The enemy that they dropped from is rare, the item's rare, I just, I don't know, I just, I just wasn't having uh, the best of luck with it, so uh, I kind of uh, got rid of that idea, and uh, just kind of moved on to other things, but I've never commented on that. Alright, ooh, got wisps, nice, I always forget that wisps are a thing, or, uh, are they called wisps before they're killed? I feel, I believe they are. Or wisps, it's probably where you get wisps in a bottle. Right, now I believe that it will drop from any... Oh, okay, right, okay. Underestimating the dungeon already. Uh, I believe it will drop from any hard mode dungeon en um, enemy. So uh, so that's good. Now, I have really underestimated the power of this. It makes me wish that I'd... Um... Actually, do you know what? We can swap over right now. This and this. Um, it makes me wish that I'd um, gotten all of our uh, regen stuff and taken it with us. <laughs> right, yeah, look at this. Yeah, we're getting absolutely bossed in here. I feel like this yo-yo uh, hunting is going to be a little bit harder, this one, than I expected. Because the enemies in here are actually quite unpleasant. Okay, Hell Armored Bones. Right, dead. And, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go do the rest of the farming off-camera. So this should be our, if completed today, 16th yo-yo. Um, which then leaves us with the Eye of Cthulhu, and then the Red Throw, and the Valkyrie Throw, which is uh, ones that we'll be getting at the end of the series. So I'm going to farm away, and I'll let you guys know what the results. Um, I'll try and uh, keep a count. I actually haven't got my tally counter equipped, which is unfortunate. But I'll try and keep, like, a mental note of how long it takes. Okay, I actually got it and died. Look at that. Right, I just realized I was, like, farming away, not paying attention, obviously, because I died. <laughs> But it's down there, Broken Kraken, right, so we can just go and get it. Alright, Bone Lee, you're dead. For some reason, the Bone Lee character reminds me of the Euromir for some reason. I feel like Euromir did a video on Bone Lee. And I've, it always is, I see it and I'm like, I get this little warm smile. I'm like, hey, Euromir. Whoa, okay. Right. Don't die like a chump. Bail like a chump. There you go. Right, so we got the Broken Kraken. Now, I'm not too bothered about getting it broken. I would have liked to have got it with a nice prefix. But the good thing is, is we can actually reforge this um, for cheaper because it's broken. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very expensive reforge, although I'm not um, entirely sure. So, five gold, not bad. Goes straight up to 20. All right, so we want it godly if we can. Superior, forceful, strong. 
unpleasant. And we're out of money. Right, okay, so we're going to have to stick with unpleasant. i tell you what, though. We could always sell our, um, our Yelits. Ten gold. Wow. That was a great Yelit. So that was our 16th yo-yo anyway. Um... Which is cool. Oh, I left my um, I left my little uh, stuff down there. That's kind of unfortunate. So I'm going to have to go back and get that. All right. So that's going to do it for today's episode. In the next episode, it's going to be big. We're going to go for the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo, which is going to be the last yo-yo we will use properly. Because the thing is, when we get the Terrarian, the series kind of over. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so the Eye of Cthulhu is next. We're going to go for a Golem fight in the next episode. We're going to go for some Solar Eclipse farming. Um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a really action-packed episode the next one I know today was a lot about farming jump cutting getting ready for a boss fight But the next one will be a little bit more action-packed So thank you all for watching and thank you for supporting this series. It really means a lot and I'll see you in the next one Peace Good morning. Good evening. I hope you like dreaming you live to learn and you learn to live positive and negative I can't sleep but I can't sleep.